Sam here from Centran.com and quick tip um, if you want a really small like perfume because um, I, I actually found this out the other day you know I was driving my car and I usually carry my perfume bottles with me you know usually once I'm reviewing uh, you know the one I'm reviewing I usually carry with me because then I get to you know test it and um, really get to have a feel for it you know when one time I was driving and I said let me let me chew gum, you know, because I was, um, if you watch my other video, I did a review on Versace Eros, you know, one of my favorite perfumes. And I know somebody said it did smell like bubble gum, you know, which was very weird, you know, at some point in the life of the, the perfume. And I said, let me, let me chew bubble gum and then let me smell it. <laughs> you know, so an interesting thing happened. So what actually happened was that, um, when I chewed the bubble gum and I smelled it, I had this straight line smell from the perfume the perfume oil you know and i was saying oh this is interesting so i think another time i had not smelled that particular note you know directly you know but um once i chewed the gum it was like everything else was blocked out and ev everything else was zoomed in into that particular note you know and everything i had saw before just disappeared and it was like this note was just it was like I've been here, <laughs> you know, and you never noticed me, and I'm like, here I am. It was just straight and linear. It was very nice, and I, I love lime, you know. So it was a very interesting um, experience, you know. So I would say definitely try it. Or if you um, and I, I'm not like a big gum person. I don't know. I just recently started chewing a lot of gum, <laughs> you know. So like, try different gums. Or like, if you are said try different things if you're drinking like say juice try different juice and smell different and smell perfume or different perfumes you realize that you have a very interesting experience with perfume in general you know so that's just a quick um thing out there but um today like i said i'm reviewing um gucci guilty perfume oil type you know this was supposed to come in and compete with the gucci guilty for women because um that perfume did amazingly well you know i haven't smelled it i don't know any females that have smelled it maybe in future i'll review it on this channel uh but um this was also like a very interesting uh you know perfume you know like it came out in 2011 you know very recently um so it's, it's quite out there you know and uh you could get it you know you know as well i mean i mean the perfume um the perfume oil you could get from Saint Hack for five dollars ninety nine um sense you know so um the links are below you know you could definitely run up there and grab a bottle and i'll personally ship them to you um so when i smell this um uh, perfume oil you know it was very interesting because um when i smelled it what i got was um i got this um nice citrus smell you know so it was nice and citrus at first and then I started saying, I was like, oh, I hope this one does not go, you know, be like um, the I Am King that I reviewed, you know. So I was kind of smelling it. And then after about an hour or so smelling it, it's kind of something amazing happened, <laughs> you know. It's kind of changed and it became this kind of, I have this musky smell, you know, musky kind of like very dark smell you know so i was like oh wow this is very interesting you know so in my mind i was imagining like this imagining you know and perfume gives you so many different weird imaginations but i having this imagination of something going uphill and you are convinced that you're gonna go uphill with this thing and then eventually it just like drops down you know like a nice descent into the unknown or into something you know so that was like the take i had on it and i was like oh this is so this is smooth this is fruity this is like a citrus you know either it's lime or it's um you know it's orange or pine or something and then it becomes dark and i was like this dark must be mask must be petroleum or something you know so that's my first initial impression you know so i used it for a while and then i got to look at the notes you know so and i realized that lo and behold um the notes complemented 
what I was experiencing. So um, with the notes, it has lemon, it has lavender, and it has, um, for the top note, it has lemon, lavender at the top note. So no wonder I was experiencing, I was smelling this lemon. I think I was smelling lemon. That was the lemon I was smelling um, in the beginning. And then the, in, the, in the mid notes, it has warm orange. You know, so right from the initial introduction, you're going to have uh, a play of citrus notes, right? And then as it warms down, you know, which I was very, like, right on point. I was like, I'm not be so on point with my, um, in terms of how I personally, when I'm personally reviewing perfume to, to this point. Because then the, the base notes was, like, mask, cedar, and, you know, those kind of masky notes, you know. So that kind of played into it. So it starts off that, it starts off citrusy. And then it winds up in this um, interesting environment of um, mask and cedar, you know. So for projection, it wasn't. It was a decent projection. It was a medium um, decent projection. It wasn't very beastly, um, or it wasn't like dead too at all. It was like mid range, you know. So you get a decent amount of projection. Um, when you use this perfume, um, I would say it would be very good for the springtime now or even going forward to the summer. In winter time, you have to apply a little bit more, but the projection will be very great, you know. And um, this thing, the longevity to last decently, you know, it's, you have to apply after every three or four hours, you know, so it's not gonna last like the whole day, um, but it does give you a good, decent. Um, length for the time you know does not quickly die off you know and um you know it's like i said the citrus and the lime would are the first to, um <laughs> are the first to subside and then you as you smell the mask and the cedar you know so um longevity is not very great or it's not bad either for uniqueness i would say among the citrus based um, fragrance smell that I have smelled, this is the most unique out of them all to me personally because of how it changed, um, how it <laughs> how it, it, it died down into the mask, you know. So citrus and mask is something I'm experiencing along my fragrance journey. So it's like in my arsenal, it's like very unique. You know it's somewhat unique and i like the the mask at the end you know i really like it it's um very masculine to me you know it's very masculine to me because it's not all that's fruity fruity and um citrusy but then it has this mask you know of this um sort of maturity at the end which i really like you know i feel it's like very masculine um i mean for women i'll say sorry you know? <laughs> I would say definitely buy this for your boyfriend, for your husband, for your brother, for any male species in your life, you know. <laughs> you know. Also, you could get away with it. And I always say, although, you know, this one I, I wouldn't recommend for um, for females. You know, you have your Gucci guilty female. You know, go use that. You know, leave leave this alone for, for us. You know, but... If you want to be sneaky and still use it, like I'll you know, definitely go for it too. Because I say perfume is always, there is no label to perfume. I always say, you know, anybody could wear whatever they want, you know. So go for it. Cheers. <laughs> Pull. But um, yeah, I mean, besides that, I mean, that's about it. It's, um, it's a fairly decent smell, you know, it gives you that freshness and then it, it becomes musky. Uh, you know, cedarish at the end, you know, you're gonna like it um, in the long run, you know. So, to grab a copy or to get a bottle, you could go definitely go to Scent Hack. I have the links below. Um, grab a bottle. Let me know what you get out of it, you know. Let me know the notes that came to play. What it reminded you of, of and um, you know, your whole experience, you know. Definitely like this video, subscribe, you know, below um because that's the only way you get all my videos when they do come out um and i keep saying at the end of the video if you are on um this channel and you all you care about is 
perfume so you could definitely go to my other channels called uh, scent hack and subscribe so that way you get only fragrance and all the awesomeness and um great things about perfume along the journey and um but if you are on this channel too and you don't mind that's awesome you know let's rock on so um definitely go check out twitter instagram all the social media you could find us there you could find me there let me connect and also um i can say if you want to always chat about random stuff you know or tell me stuff besides perfume or things about life right below let me know what's going on with you and um take care and until next time